Hey there everyone, Ultraviolet Rooster here, coming at you with episode 15 of Tell Me Why. Alright guys, I know, I know, I've been saying that I'm going to finish off with this series. I, I mean, just to let you guys know, there's only like four episodes left after this one. So we're so close to the finish line here. Let's see. If I remember correctly, last time was the season opener or chapter opener for this one um she decided to Heidi. make hey, a little beautiful. birthday gift for uh okay this lady here girl you look like shit i uh haven't been sleeping well but here i yeah, am yeah things haven't been going well you, right? between her no. and tyler well i appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway just give me five minutes so i can finish off this paperwork oh no rush i need to drop off some stuff with eddie all right Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. Of course. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm because done with this. Because nothing says, you know, sorry about everything that happened last time, like cobbler. Holding cells. I mean... It says I can interact with it. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that it? I just it's just to read that it says holding cell. <sighs> okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? I guess it's a legendary cobbler. This is my third helping. Whoa, slow down there, lady. What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. I'm registering the ticket. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Nope. Honestly, I don't care if you're a dude or a chick or a dude or whatever. Morning. Three helpings of cobbler is uh, has been much. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Cobbler. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously, very seriously. Very seriously. <laughs> Wash your own cups and dishes. Yeah. No matter if you're at work or live with roommates. God, I hope no one got hurt. That's always an issue. Wash your own goddamn dishes. Restroom. Because there's nothing really over here in this corner to interact with. I promise you guys I'll have some cobbler right now. I'm just trying to see if there's any new spooky memories that, that can be awakened. I was super glad they included the uh, wash your face at the sink feature in, in the game. <laughs> What was going on with me this morning? So fucking scary. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to trigger I right love now. The smell of this soap. <sighs> Allison, come on. Don't go around smelling other people's pants. Cobbler party in the break room. God, these people. <laughs> that's what they have to look forward to. Cobbler. Small town Alaska, am I right? You all right, kid? Yeah, I'm just trying yeah. to trigger my psychic powers Super over tired. here. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Yeah, after Sorry. what happened last time with Tyler and oh. everything. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. Uh, have your address, please. Uh, uh, 1712 East. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Wait a minute. Mr. Gershwin. Gershwin. You confirm the reason for your visit to Devil's Cross. Just visiting Fed. Alexander Gershwin. That sounds familiar. Bush is the post office. Name's Danny. Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. So you're here to visit family. Sure was. But I mostly 
found in your truck. <laughs> you harvested that in your permit, so you did. Of course I did. I let some goddamn post Alexander Gershwin. I'm just trying to get all of that. I should grab a piece of cobbler before Greg's inhale. Shut up, woman. I'm trying to piece together who this guy was. Alexander Gershwin, who was just in town to visit family, wasn't he the guy that Tyler spoke to on the ferry? Like, I know I'm, this is asking a lot. This goes all the way back to, like, the first or second episode of the series. But when Allison went to go pick up Tyler, and they were on that little boat, and Tyler threw the ring off the boat, pretty much saying, big fuck you to Eddie, um... There was an Alexander Gershwin there with a truck that had all these bumper stickers, and they had this conversation. I'm pretty sure it was this guy, Alexander Gershwin. Yeah, it's the guy from the first episode. Jeez. Look at that. Little, it's little details like that. That. I should grab a piece of cobbler before Greg's inhales. Goes Allison again about the cobbler, but yeah, it's uh, little details like that. I don't know. I mean. It's 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 things like that where the developers ask you, were you paying attention? <laughs> we haven't really talked about it. All right, let's go get some cobbler. <laughs> I like how she just grabs the piece that's this already on the plate. Again, on my last nerve with their stupid. She doesn't even ask, "Hey, does this belong to anyone?" Dessert for lunch. Nope. Pretty just grab cool, it. Cool, right? Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful. Diabetes. Though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but... Diabetes. Uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling and... Oh boy, is he working hard. Yeah, but... Damn. Diabetes is a thing. Sometimes I miss being 14. <laughs> I guess... Hey, Gregs. Like, I know by now, some of you have pieced it together. I'm not a teenager. I'm far from it. Got any big vacation and I can plans coming up? Pretty we'll much tell you guys right now. For Thanksgiving. I do not miss being 14 way. or 15 but at all. I'm also secretly at planning all. a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to That's go there romantic. someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone oh, will have a great Oh, I guess it's a time. trip for him and his kids. <laughs> I thought it was just for... See, this is why you should be paying attention to the game. It's for... It's for him and his kids, not just for him and his wife. Mmm. Good tasting cobbler. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Yeah. Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's yeah. awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Drugs. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. That he's uh, <sighs> fucking racist, apparently. People coming in from God knows where. Hey, sorry I Jesus kept you waiting. Jesus Christ. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Uh, I don't know. An animal, maybe? As a polar bear. Wait, huh? You know, the perp who's been going around stealing people's mail and dumping their packages into the snow. Anyway, Dr. Torres caught him. She's got him locked in a cage in the back of her SUV. Wait, she's got him where now? It's a raccoon. Uh. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably They're best I take gonna a kill the raccoon. Oh, it's it's okay. More than totally, likely, I understand. Duty calls. 
Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. Yeah, it's a piece of crap it's wolf not much, that I carved but... out of a piece of wood. You're kidding. I love it. Did you I make this? I literally just said that I did. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Right? Delos Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. I like how he just comes back. <laughs> well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday. Shit. Huh? <laughs> it's none of your business, really. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison yeah, you know? Yeah, what the fuck does he mean by yeah. that? The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. The chief works hard for all of us. He doesn't deserve to be treated that way. Ch ch chief's a piece of shit. That's what he is. We did what we had to get what we needed I don't like the way he's looking around right. like that I just want you to be careful I've been doing this for a long time and people they mostly don't change even when we really want them to look I'm really tired can we not do this Allison, oh, I like you I got the psychic powers I really do I've known you since you were a kid you're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, or not? If he goes down, don't let him take it. Holy shit! I, I can't. I mean, the stuff the guy's saying. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some oh, air. Okay, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Asthma. Or not asthma. Ty, are you there? Tyler? Answer me, please. Oh, he's giving her the cold shoulder. Fuck. Why is he ghosting me? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. I can't breathe. Please stop. Before. So is this like a mini game or something, or? This will pass. <laughs> this too shall pass. <laughs> Time to hold and release to help Allison breathe. Okay. Hold it and release. Right when it gets to the, like the little green area, I guess. Breathing pretty hard. And out. Come on, Allison. We got this. We got this. My heartbeat's slowing down. Hold on. I got it. It's even got me breathing a little hard. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. 
In through the nose, out through the mouth. It's okay, okay. I got this. I played I'm dead okay. by daylight. What's I happening? know what I'm supposed to do. Are you okay? Yes? Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't oh. know what these people are going to be like. Or when I'm going to see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're going to be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still on together. The voice. Time to get going That's what they called it. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, I, um, uh, went back to the Oh, house. Sam. Got a few things for you. I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think that mini game was honestly the most I think I gameplay that I've gotten day. out of this game. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything, but it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I thought that was the end of the the episode right there. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. She's Don't been be. through a lot at this point. We haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. Of course, it comes back to Tyler. I failed him over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always Honestly, I think that's like the first time I agree with Chief Brown there. It does seem like there's a lot going on for her right now. It's coming down hard. That's not true, that's Uncle. That's not true. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could oh. do. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... It never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Uncle. Oh shit. It was it's me. Time for the truth. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What what are you saying? Yeah. Oh god. She she was threatening Tyler. The music's giving me chills. So I stabbed her. <laughs> I, I killed her. I killed my mother. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> but Tyler confessed. You know what? This is one of those things that had been building up inside of her for a long time. He went to time. fireweed. We lied. Maybe it's good that she finally we lied to gets everyone. it out. <laughs> oh man. Hey, Chief Brown. Everything he knows about reality was just shattered. <laughs> Up is down. Left is right. Cats How? and dogs living together. How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> But we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. They pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. I, I should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you, too. to Chief Brown here. It looks like uh, he's handling this rather well. Thank you, Uncle. I know, I know. I've been giving this guy a lot of hate. Now? A lot Any of... Better? I just... A lot of his decisions were Relieved, questionable, actually. but... I'm right now... Really tired. He's actually taking this very, rather well. Oh. I was remembering something earlier... I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember How he brought us our goblin figurines. Yeah. And we had a big that's what group I hug. Know. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. How close? <laughs> I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. I love you, Uncle. She sounded Thank a little like everything. Tyler there. I I'll have to do this. Damn, Chief Brown, that was, uh... Earning my respect there with that response. Anyways, well, it looks like this is about the end for us. As for this episode, anyways. And I swear, we're only like four episodes away from the ending. I'm going to try to get them out as soon as possible. We'll be done with this. I'm going to be moving on to other games. Um, hopefully, stick to a tighter streaming schedule. Uh, more videos coming out, more games, all that fun stuff. Anyways, for now, this is Ultraviolet Rooster. I'll see you guys on the next one.